Welcome back to our final installment for PCB layout driven design with VSS. In this step, we're going to look at verification, our final step in the design flow. Now, what we want to focus on is taking all the great uh, design that we've done, all the great design activity we've done in the previous steps, starting with modeling the individual components in Microwave Office, making sure that we got good microwave simulations, and then bringing those up individually or as a complete ideal system into VSS, either by directly taking each model independently um, as a, a VSS simulation-based model and combining it as a VSS hierarchical design or by bringing the entire ideal board in, an ideal board being laid out in um, microwave office and then that single ideal board brought into VSS for simulation and then doing the interconnect analysis and design either using um, microstrip models and microstrip coupled lines where we know we have RF signal path and then combining that with INETs to route control lines and things that may not be directly on the RF signal path but we are concerned about how they couple to it. Now in this final step after we've gotten all the design done we're going to have to verify that our design is as close to what we expect it to be when we send it to manufacturing and while ACE is a very fast and capable analysis engine it doesn't have the accuracy of a complete EM solver. Axiom has that capability it's a complete solution to Maxwell's equations in um, three-dimensional uh, planar configurations and so we're going to use that as the basis for this verification. Now we're going to be able to embed those Axiom analyses directly into VSS so that we're simulating our EVM using the results of a full EM analysis. So let's go back and refresh ourselves with what, uh, remind ourselves with what the design looks like. Here we go. Um, this is what our design looks like, and um, it's the same WiMAX system analysis we've been doing for the entire um, series here. Again, focusing in on where we're including our board design. It's right here as our nonlinear simulation-based model, and we're going to include the RF signal path board. Now, this RF signal path board is both the transmit and the receive side, and we've been focusing mostly on the transmit chain because this is where we have the highest degree of nonlinearities. This is where we have our power amplifier. And in the previous um, video, we were able to include our VSS or our uh, interconnect analysis. Let me get over to our extract blocks over here. By using the extract block, um, and this is a unique feature to the AWR design environment where under the control of the simulator, under the control of the schematic, we're able to take um, layout and send it to an EM solver and then automatically have those EM results or those um, interconnect analysis results embedded back into our um, circuit simulation without having to stitch in or without having to connect in a high port count S parameter file or a high port count netlist representing our interconnects. In other words, the design environment takes care of doing all that for us automatically and under automated control. So if we change one little aspect of a, of a line in the layout, when we rerun simulation, the extract flow automatically creates the layout, sends it to the analysis engine, brings back the results, and combines it with the um, with the rest of the simulation. Um, so when we did this for ACE, we got um, an extracted um, extracted layout that looks something like this, or an extracted EM document that looks something like this. And when we do the same thing for Axiom, we get something that looks like this. The artwork is identical, but you may have noticed that the port numbering may change a little bit and that's because it's two different extract blocks that are being done here and the under the control of the extract engine targeted for the specific uh, solvers you may get a different port count and the, the stack up is going to be different because each um, each uh, analysis engine may require different details in the stack up in terms of grid size and uh, material parameters, but uh, it is the very same artwork that's being analyzed in both of these. Now, one of the things I want to caution you about doing EM analysis is that there's a temptation to just analyze the artwork at the one frequency, the fundamental frequency that the RF is propagating at or is that being is being driven at. And I want to uh, caution you not to do that when you have nonlinear components like our power amplifier. And the reason why is that we need multiple harmonics of that fundamental to capture the richness of the nonlinear response. And if we limit the number of harmonics to one or two or three, then we're not necessarily going to get a very accurate simulation overall, even though the interconnects themselves are passive and really um, 
just have a, a lot of energy being uh, transmitted uh, through them at the fundamental. We still need all those harmonics to take into account the way that the nonlinear components are being loaded or the source impedance and load impedance is being presented to those nonlinear components. So when you're doing the EM analysis, it's going to take a little bit more time, but it's very important that you do it at five or seven or nine harmonics, depending upon how nonlinear your system is to make sure that you capture all the richness and get all the accuracy of having those nonlinear components in there. Well, even with that, I ran this one at seven harmonics. We can go back and now look at our EVM results, and you'll notice that as compared to our ACE results uh, for the EVM of the entire board, we're off by about a tenth of a percent. In other words, we were getting about 2.4% EVM, and now we're up to 2.5%. This represents the additional accuracy, uh, the losses that we're getting that we may not guess get with the um, with the ACE simulator we're getting with the Axiom simulator. Well, that's our entire video series for how to use um, PCB layout with VSS. We've, we've covered an awful lot of topics in terms of component modeling, in terms of the way that VSS is able to leverage all the richness of models and uh, schematics in the uh, microwave office environment. We've looked at ACE as a way to do very, very fast interconnect analysis when we're designing. We've looked at INETs as a way to route control lines and non-essential signal path lines. And we've looked at Axiom as a vehicle for doing verification in this design flow. If you have any uh, questions about this design flow in particular or the, um, the different levels of detail that we went into, there's plenty of information on the AWR website in terms of videos, white papers, application notes. And of course, if you have any further questions about VSS, Microwave Office, or the AWR design environment as a whole, please contact your AWR sales professional.